Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stream and Go. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the buffering and how to speed up your file stick. But before we get started on this, please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive my weekly video. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, let's check a little something first before we actually get started and going into the settings and me showing you what you need to do. Let's go ahead and go over to settings. And we're gonna check that network status. So we just go down, you see network, we wanna click on it. And a lot of times your, your network status will be showing right here, but if it's not, what you wanna do, you wanna click on the play pause button. Once we click on the play pause button, it shows your, your strength of your internet. Okay, now, if it's mine, it's saying it's good. Mine is saying good, so that's, that's good. Uh, Make it say good, very good. Uh, when it says fair, you're going to have some issues. And so, you don't want it to say fair, but at least, at least you want it to say good. Now, you may want to try moving your router to a different place. Uh, sometimes your router can be too far. You know, so try moving your router, or you can try a hard wire. You know, running that hard wire from your TV to your wire, to your uh, to your router is the best way to go. Um, so you'll get excellent connection with running that hard wire. And there's plenty of YouTube videos out on how to run a hard wire. Now, the next thing we want to do, we want to go into settings. Now we want to go to applications. I think I passed it. There we go. We want to click on applications. Now what we want to do, we want to go down to manage install applications. Once we highlight that, we want to click on it. Now, this gives you a list of all your applications that is on your Amazon Fire Stick. And sometimes we get to install so many applications that sometimes, you know, them opens, we don't need them anymore. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to the application that you don't need anymore. So I'm just going to pick an application. I will try um, I'm just going to do VLC. Just doing it for an example. So this VLC application, just say I don't need it. I do need it, but I'm going to go back and install it. But I'm just showing you how to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the VLC. And what we want to do before we uninstall it, we want to clear the cache. And we want to clear the data. So we'll do both of those, clear the cache and clear the data. And now what we want to do, we want to uninstall the application. So we'll click on install and click on install. So that's pretty much how you can speed up your file stick and fix buffering. It's cleaning up more space. All this is doing is cleaning up more space on your file stick to run more smoothly. And um, so what we want to do, we'll just do another one. We'll take Live Net TV. Want to click on it. Want to clear cache. Clear data. We hit the back button. And now we want to uninstall. So we'll just click on install. We'll just click on install. And it's install, uninstall the application. But, but before um, I did the uninstall, as you notice, I clear, I clear the cache and the data. That's clean up some of them installation files that you, you won't need on your file stick. And so, what we want to do, hit the back button. And now what we want to do, we want to go with a private, we want to go to preference. As you can see, preference is right here. So once we got preference highlighted, we want to click on it. And what we want to do, we want to go down to privacy settings. And so this is what we want to do. Um, we want device usage data. We want to cut that to off. And what that is is Amazon sending your information to Amazon um, for their reason, but we don't need that. That'll help speed up that file stick. Collect app usage data. Turn that off. And the inter interest-based ads, we want to cut that off. Okay? So we want to back out. And we want to go down to the data monitoring. And it's, it's, um, it's off, so let's just keep that off. Let's go down to notification settings. 
So we're going to enter notification settings. Do not interrupt. Now, we're going to cut that to on. So what that does, that stop a lot of the pop-up advertisements uh, from Amazon. So we want to cut that on. We're back out. And now we want to go down to feature content. Okay, allow video autoplay. We want to cut that off. Video play first, cut that off. And um, audio play, we want to cut that off. Okay. Now that's going to be it for that. Now we're going to do hit the back button. Now we want to go over to My Fire TV. And once we go to My Fire TV, as you see at the bottom, is a factory reset. Now if none of this um, does not work. We can we can always do a factory reset, but let that be your, you know, your last one, your last source that you want to do. Um, with this video, I also have another video um, that helps you with freeing up space. And the title of my, the other video I did is how to free up space on the fire stick. Um, some people saying that it did free up some space, but not enough. Um, sometimes you can install just so much. Um, and then what you try to do is, um, to free up space is just too much information on there to free up space. And you might have to do a factory reset. But let's try this video first. And also my other video, which is titled, how to free up space on your fire stick. But those two videos, for the most part, it will help your fire stick out to run more smoothly and no buffering. But like I said, if it don't, um, so much installing can be done on a fire stick. The, um, the last result is to reset your fire stick. Hopefully we will not have to do that. Okay, that's if nothing just don't work, reset your fire stick. So we want to back out. And what we want to do, we want to go ahead and hit the home button. And I'm going to tell you about this app that you need to install. It is very important. It helps out a lot. It is called Background Apps Process List. So what we want to do, we want to go to the search icon. And we want to type in Background Process List. And as you can see, as I'm typing, you see it come up, background apps and process list. So we want to go down, we want to highlight it, we want to click it. And there we go, the first one. So we want to click it again. Now we want to download. So we want to click download. It's installing. Now, what we want to do, we don't want to open it yet. Let's click the home button on our remote. And what we want to do, let's hold down the home button on our remote. And it occurs to the screen right here. The apps is already highlighted. So we just click on it. Now we want to find that app we just installed. Whenever you install an app, it will always be at the bottom. So we just go all the way down to the bottom. And as you see, background apps and process list. So we want to click on it. It'll load. You see, got it. Now, as you can see, these are the apps that's running in the background. I have five apps that's running in the background. On my other file stick, I had 20 apps running in the background. I don't use this file stick as much, obviously, but a file stick that's used a lot, you will have a lot of background, uh, a lot of apps running in the background. So what we want to do is this. Go up to close apps, close all apps. So we want to click on it. It's going to carry us to this. So what we want to do, we want to force, um, force stop, hit the back button, force stop. And we just want to do these on all the apps, force stop. And sometimes it won't do all of them at one time. You have to go back and it will go back to the screen. So we'll just go back to close all apps again, which all I have is two, force stop, back back button and force stop and hit the back button and once you have all your apps cleared out the background you'll see no apps open and it says press back to exit so that's pretty much how you clear all your apps out of the background and so that's pretty much all the video let's hit the home button if you have any questions or comments, I want you to please leave me a link below. And like I said, with this video, with doing the few little steps that I have showed you, plus the other video I have done, how to fill space on your fire stick, do those two videos, look, look at the other video, do each one of them steps and see how it works for your fire stick. Hopefully it works out great. 
you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. Uh, please look for my next video coming soon. I hope you have a great day. God bless.